वेलकम अगेन माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स एम डी एस एस्परेंट्स एंड ऑल द गवर्नमेंट रैंकर्स ऑफ नीट एम डी एस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर हार्ट ईयर कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशंस वंस अगेन टू यू ऑल एंड दिस वीडियो इज स्पेशली फॉर दोज हु विल बी गेटिंग अ गवर्नमेंट सीट आइदर थ्रू ऑल इंडिया कोटा और थ्रू द स्टेट कोटा इवन लाइक आर ओन स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी डी एस टू एम डी एस हैव प्राउड नंबर ऑफ वन जीरो फाइव प्लस गवर्नमेंट रैंकर्स इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर again and again coming back to this video this is not going to be very long because you already are in a you can say comfortable position of getting a government seat but yes there are certain key parameters which will help you decide regarding this and let me help you in this regard in a very systematic manner the first criteria of how you select a government college is usually i have left it blank but you all know is based on stipend yes the stipend per month varies from 1 lakh plus in many colleges in north india to around 30 40 50 000, 000 in many parts of the country so this is one of the major decisions like if you feel the stipend is the going to be a game changer in your case don't be hesitant as per your rank if you are getting a college with a very very high stipend definitely you should go for that yes but definite and another thing which matters along with the stipend is i always say choose your branch over college so there has to be some balance which you have to make in this regard good branch getting in a good college with a good stipend is a win win situation branch of your choice getting in a college with little less stipend but still a decent one to make you happy on monthly basis is a great combo yet possible okay everybody gets something or the other as per the ranks you all know you will not be disheartened if you are in that segment of government ranking then comes the important parameter of again how you select a college or a branch or a department in any particular gdc or central government institutes or like institutes like kgmc and all it's the pg guide there are guides who have phenomenal uh, reputations so it's better it's a privilege it's you can say once in a lifetime bonus opportunity for you to be learning under them okay because that remains with you for rest of your life if your guide is good it matters a lot actually this matters the most you will realize once you enter your pg and you will thank me for making a wise decision based on this parameter i would still rate parameter 2 little above chalo little i'll make it one arrow <laughs> but little above point number 1 okay has more weightage because dentistry or any stream we need to learn from a learned man or a ma'am okay so this is a scenario which happens to be applicable to all branches not only os and ortho which are usually like totally dependent on the pg guide because you are haven't done anything in your bd bds days right but it depends on endo also prosto also perio also everywhere it counts a lot pedo public health omr op everything matters if your guide is good if your guide is giving you a free hand if your guide is progressive in research if your guide has been like into a lot of international tie ups and all that is making new advancements in the department every now and then is thinking out of the box yes icing on the cake you will get and you will carry forward that tradition rest of your life becoming a different person altogether once you walk out of the college so i would always rate this as number 1 but yes the majority of students stipend is a you can say the most lucrative offer in terms of college selection but it's good as such third comes the infrastructure of the department like i told you in the previous video of private college also infrastructure of department means the department should be well equipped like endo should have microscope prosto should have Dynamo metal lab or latest scanners and all that. Then uh, we can say uh, 
even OMR, if the college has a CBCT or something like latest things being incorporated, then only you will be able to learn. Okay, implants are there. Many things are added up nowadays by the colleges. But yes, one thing which I want to tell you regarding GDCs and all that is the bottom line is no college is going to be perfect. Okay, every college there will be some or the other thing missing. But that's not a very major miss out. Okay, that part of your MDS can always be learned upon once you complete your degree and you progressively learn new things which were not covered in those three years. So nothing to be very much. Uh, but yes, the basic infrastructure like if you're choosing a GDC which does not have, you want to do endo but your endo uh, department does not have this uh, endo microscope at all then you will definitely feel some void as compared to your peers when you meet in conferences you will realize that uh, there is a lot of gap in education so make your decision based on that always take reviews of current year pgs maybe like first year second year third year and be well informed all the rankers who had been talking to me since the day of result a sincere advice to everybody was is visit that college if you think you are going to get this college this branch this department please start visiting the colleges before making the choices don't just be very random in mentioning the choices and one tip which will help you a lot if you want to take review of endo definitely visit endo talk to pages there but take review of endo from the other departments also, especially the allied ones like Perio and OS, right? Because usually what happens is many students who are like being like say Subek is ko dant padi hai ya kuch, something wrong has happened, he or she will not give you a good review of his or her own department. But the other students, other PGs of other departments will tell you because they are also not happy with their own department they will give you better sight of the endo or likewise other departments okay so grass looks greener on the other side always so we usually tend to see the bright side of other departments when we are in some other branch right then comes opd and variety of cases matters a lot in those who are going to choose oral surgery and uh, other specialities like it matters like okay OPD has to be good there are yes I don't want to name it on YouTube but there are certain uh, GDCs which are lacking in OPD in certain departments majorly okay so you should be aware of thought that we have a telegram group I'll share the link in the chat section of this video as well uh, as much as possible, we'll give you contacts in as many as GDC possible in India. So if you want, you just feel free to ask in this regard. Last is post MDS scope. Why I mentioned this in relation to government and not in private is because many government colleges offer bond after completion of MDS. And don't take it as a bond binding or slavery take it as an advantage take it as a bonus trust you me on this when you pass out mds says you are doing it in a north india college you are getting stipend of say one lakh plus per month and when you pass out it's very rare you will start earning one lakh per month right from day one very rare until unless you have an establishment before that okay so if the college is offering you SRship, if the college is offering you some bond service one year, two year, it is, uh, you can say the best thing which you can happen to you like colleges in UP, colleges in Maharashtra, many states do have a compulsion of job one year or two year. So don't take it as a burden, take it as a bonus for initial settlement post MDS and the SRship which you get after that gives you a lot of free hand, research hand and many things which you might have craved in those three years of doing it but were not allowed to do maybe or were not getting a chance to do. You can easily go on that experimentation modality in that SRship period, right? So this is very, very important. Next video which I am going to share 
is going to be how to select MDS speciality. And that's one video was there earlier also, but now adding more details to it will be there. Plus we are starting from tomorrow sessions on scope of each branches from the stalwarts, from the maestros in the country who have decade plus experience in the branch they are specialist in. So keep watching this channel to watch those videos that will give you an insight what exactly you're going to do in your MDS in three years and what exactly the world is going to pursue you after three years of your degree, how good or bad the situation might sound like. Keep watching this space and sharing. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless you. And I'm very sure you'll end up getting the best college, best seat, which you have aimed and dreamt of right from the days of preparation. Good day.